Hi there. Yes, before we even get started, I am indeed out of focus, and no, it does not ever improve, unfortunately. This was a good take audio-wise, so I don't want to re-record it, so if me being out of focus bothers you, then please just treat this video like a podcast and listen, because uh, that's mainly what it needs to be. Like, honestly, my face isn't even that important for this video anyway, so yeah, sorry about that. Okay, hi. So... Welcome or welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, I posted a video about my work trip to DC through AmeriCorps. However, I feel like I was so caught up in being in DC that I did not quite get across what it is that I was there for, or even what it is that I do for AmeriCorps. So yeah, I wanted to make a video talking about that and trying to explain it a bit more. So I'll do a few questions about AmeriCorps in general and then more specific questions about my service and what I'm doing for AmeriCorps. Okay, actually I'm just gonna do <laughs> a bit about my specific AmeriCorps role, but there are resources to learn more about the AmeriCorps program in general that can explain it a lot better than I can. So I am a Marshfield Clinic Health System Public Health Community Core AmeriCorps member, uh, which is a lot of things to remember when people ask me what I do. And so Public Health AmeriCorps is a subset of the overall National AmeriCorps program that I believe was put into place during COVID, which was a, a public health crisis and illustrated the need for more public health service programs so that they can train the next generation of leaders to be able to help, to be able to handle public health crises such as that. So uh, how long is an AmeriCorps term of service? My, I'm doing a full-time term of service, which is one year or 1,700 hours. So there are full-time, part-time, and quarter-time opportunities. And those are more easily thought of through hours rather than years or months or whatever. So full time is 1700 hours, like I said, half time 900 hours, quarter time is 400 ish, 450 maybe, I believe. And so you can really just go for what works for your schedule. <laughs> I will say that being a full time member means that you also get access to benefits like healthcare. So uh, that is one of the reasons why I chose a full-time position rather than half-time or quarter-time. Oh. Are AmeriCorps members paid, and if so, how much? Yes, AmeriCorps members are paid. You get, well, okay, not paid in a traditional sense. They call it a living stipend, and it's basically just the base amount of money in order to continue living. They are also, my program in particular, were very upfront about that and guided us towards resources if the living stipend didn't quite make ends meet the way we needed them to. You still qualify for a variety of government assistance options as an AmeriCorps member if that is something that you need. So yes, it is a modest living stipend about the equivalent of $12 an hour and it's something that I do really hope to see change because AmeriCorps is a really wonderful opportunity to get work experience and I, it sucks that finances can be a barrier to someone gaining important work experience. And on along that line, a lot of these programs only require that you have a high school Diploma? Gosh. A lot of these programs only require that you have a high school diploma. You don't have to have a college degree to even do the position that I'm doing. And so it really is a good way if you graduate high school and aren't quite sure what you want to do with your life. An AmeriCorps program could be a good way to bridge that gap and let you try out different things and gain different skills before going to college or ultimately entering the workforce. Can I choose where I serve? So I did choose where I served because I saw my position directly through the nonprofit that I'm working for. And so I applied through that and then I filled out a Marshfield Clinic AmeriCorps application. But you could also fill out a general application and then get matched with service opportunities in your area. 
Okay, and then we can get into more specifics about my role in particular. So I am a communications and outreach coordinator. And that means that I work on communications and outreach for the nonprofit that I do my service with. And so that's another thing. You are not an employee at AmeriCorps. You are a member and you are doing service. Very important distinctions with all of this jargon there. So I am, as I said, I am a Marshfield Clinic Health System Public Health Community Corps AmeriCorps member serving at a nonprofit where I do communications and outreach coordination. Okay. What um, motivated me to join AmeriCorps and pursue this role? So I graduated college in 2020 and I graduated with an English degree and I believed that I was going to go into education as a middle school English teacher, but that didn't quite happen. So I leaned on my other background that I'd been cultivating throughout my undergraduate that was in marketing and communications. I took a few marketing related internships and so I had that kind of background. And so after I graduated, I began pursuing jobs in that realm. And so I've been a digital marketing analyst. And so after that, I actually got a, and so after that, I actually got an entry level job at a global marketing company working on a global client. And that was just, and it just really cemented for me actually that marketing is not, marketing and advertising is not the business that I want to be in, not in that kind of way. It was really awesome to get that experience to know that it wasn't for me, but yeah, it was definitely not for me. And so at that time we were living in Texas and not loving Texas. And so we decided to come back to Wisconsin. And so I came back and I was just sort of adrift, not really sure what I wanted to do. And I had a few jobs. Um, but they just really were not the right jobs for me, just not related to education or, uh, okay, well, one of the jobs was, but not in the way that I wanted it to be, and not in a way that I felt like I could do good work and really make the impact that I wanted to make. And I was just scrolling through job forums when I came across the role that I'm in now. And I honestly, I want, I want, I want it to then, and I want to now take a step back from marketing and communications and social media in general, literally. Like that's not what I want to do, but I had the skill set and this looked like a great opportunity and so I went for it and now I have been here. <laughs> yeah, and it's just been a really wonderful experience. I've met so many amazing people. I've had an opportunity to do so many other amazing things like being part of the Wisconsin National and Community Service Board, being able to go to DC and things like that and so it's been a really really wonderful opportunity so far. A typical day or week in my role. So communications and outreach coordination as I said I communicate in the outreach and so a lot of that does involve uh, social media marketing and social media management. I take pictures at events and I also coordinate with other organizations in the area so that we can hopefully work with them or support them in whatever it is that they're doing. And so this week, this week is actually an exciting week, kind of happened on Monday. On Monday, we installed an orchard. So there's a hint at the kind of nonprofit that I work for. We installed an orchard at a local academy and that was just so much fun. It's April in Wisconsin, but the weather was really, really wonderful. And the kids were all excited for it. It was Earth Day, and so that was really great. And I was there with my coworker, who's also an AmeriCorps member, and we were taking pictures, and it was just really wonderful. And then one of our community partners was there because he assisted in setting up this community orchard. And, and so then I took 500 pictures, so the rest of my day was sorting through the pictures 
years uh, to choose which ones that we were going to keep. And then on Tuesday, I was still sorting through more of the pictures, editing them a bit um, so that they would look nice, and then uploading them into our Google Drive. So then I was also working on other things like developing a media kit because my organization doesn't have a media kit yet and that will be very helpful since we're doing things like community orchards in the community. Gosh. Since we're doing things in the community that we would like to receive press because they are good things. So developing a media kit for that. And also working on a training manual because we are going to have booths at the farmers markets this summer. And I'm organizing all of that and so it will also be my duty to train the volunteers so that they know enough about my organization so that they can be effective booth runners and that they can field questions that people may have. So the media kit and the volunteer training are the two main things that I've been working on lately. Yesterday, yesterday at all, I must have just been doing all of that still. And like that's the hard thing because I do work from home so the days kind of blend together. Yeah, whatever. And then today was actually really exciting, the volunteer awards. And so we were able to recognize uh, three of our volunteers through nominations and one of our volunteers actually won. So that was really great and we were really proud to be able to do that for our volunteers. And then tomorrow will be a mostly chill day. I'll probably just continue working on the media kit and the farmer's market volunteer manual, training manual or a presentation, it's not a manual. But I'm also going to be having a meeting with one of our state representatives who has shown a sustained interest in the same sort of areas that my nonprofit works in. So I think it'll be really cool to meet with them and kind of pick their brain about things happening at the state level that will hopefully benefit our area and our nonprofit. What advice would I give to someone interested in pursuing a similar role in miracle and related field? So firstly, I would say like just search AmeriCorps and your state or your city to see what opportunities exist for you and if there's ever like a career fair happening and you know that AmeriCorps is going to be there, I also highly recommend going to their booth and checking them out and asking questions and seeing what you might qualify for or going to the uh, National AmeriCorps website, I think it's just americorps.gov, and searching through those opportunities. If you don't mind having to travel, like live somewhere else, there are some AmeriCorps opportunities that do offer, along with a living, a living stipend, a relocation stipend, and even room and board, just depending on the program that you're in. I know that they are recruiting now for summer opportunities and opportunities for the upcoming year, so right now is definitely a great time to be looking into AmeriCorps positions and opportunities. Like I said, full-time members do get health benefits, but all members get a living stipend, of course, and they also get an education award. It's different amounts, depending on if you're full-time, half-time, or quarter-time, of course. It can be used after you earn it, so the education award that I've earned this year is going to go towards my tuition for grad school when I start in the fall, or it can go towards student loans. So it really is a great award to get for your term of service. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's all that I got, really. If you still have questions, feel free to leave a comment below, or you can email me. I think my email is on YouTube, um, or I'll put it in the description box. I think that's allowed. <laughs> and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I remember hearing about AmeriCorps when I was in school, but never really knowing what it was. And if I did know, I definitely would have taken advantage of this opportunity a lot sooner, because it just has been amazing for really feeling, really, feeling like a member of my community and really feeling like I'm making a lasting impact through the organization that I'm serving with. And I'm really happy that I took that chance and that opportunity and that my organization took that chance and opportunity on me. And I am excited to finish my year and keep going, seeing what's next. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot promise that I'm gonna make more content like this. 
I'm still trying to figure out what kind of channel that I want to be. So please like this video if you did like it and want me to do more sit down slash Q&A videos and or also subscribe <laughs> to um, see what other kind of videos that I might make and potentially what niche I might find myself in. And that's all that I've got for you. Peace. Marshfield Clinic, Health System, Public Health, AmeriCorps, Community, oh gosh. I am a Marshfield Clinic Health System, Public Health, AmeriCorps member, gosh no. I am a Marshfield Clinic Health System, Public Health, Community Corps, AmeriCorps member, serving at a nonprofit, doing communications and outreach coordination. Can I say that? Can I say that faster, better? I am a Marshfield Clinic Public Health AmeriCorps member. No. Gosh.